let's add a section and I will call it FAQ section. I will give it some padding of 100. Into this section, I will add a heading. Let's call this heading. You can center align the heading, give it a font and the weight. So we can call it FAQ. Now to this section we will add a container and we call it wrapper. To this wrapper we can give it a flex direction of vertical. Inside this wrapper we can add a div container. Let's call it bag item. This item will have two parts. One will be the question and then another part will be the answer part. The question part will have a heading and an icon. This icon you can download from the Lotte file here. You can search for drop down and you will find a lot of animations. I'm using this one. You can download it. Here you will scroll down and download this file, Lotte.js. After downloading this file, you will upload it here in your assets. Here this file and then in the question block we will add another heading for question. Let's call it heading 2. You can give it a font size of 18. Font style. And then we add the animation here. You can add it here like this. And this animation, let's give it a class and size. I will give it 25 pixels width and 25 pixel height. Right now, we will give this question block a flex direction of horizontal with space between and center. And then in the answer block, we will add a paragraph. Now let's add text to this. I will copy it from here. Now this wrapper I will add a gradient color background color gradient Also give it a border radius of 10 pixel and no overflow and you can give this some padding and the 
track item to this track item we can give the background of white and we can also give it some padding let's also give it 20 then we can also give it a border radius and low overflow now here there's a lot of space because of this we can remove this okay now we can add the interaction. Click on this question and then go to this interaction and then we add interaction when we click on this. On first click we'll start an animation. It's a new animation so we will name it show content because initially we cannot see the content on the first click it should show the content first you will take the answer block and then you will add it here and change the size initial to initial state steps and the size should be 0 pixel if it's still visible then you can go to the styles and change this overflow to hidden then when we go to the interaction it will not be visible like this then we will change the direction of the loti icon here we will select loti it is also set to initial state and initially it should be zero it should be pointing downwards then we will select the answer block again and then we will choose the size here it should not be selected and change the height to auto then we will go to load the icon and we will change the direction of the icon to upwards 90 it should not be selected as initial state then if you want to change the color of the heading you can select text color for heading and we can give it and then save it let's preview this on click it is opening now we have to create the animation for the second click when we click it the second time for this we will again select this question block and then here we will go to the second click and start an animation it's a new animation we will call it hide hide content for this we have to do the opposite of what we did for the show content we will change the size of the answer block to again to zero and the direction of rotate icon to zero again and change the color of the heading to black again and save it now let's preview this on first click it shows on second click it hides so it's working good now we can copy this track item paste it three times in order to give distance between this we can go to the the wrapper and here we can give the distance of 20 pixels between the items okay so I'm back after adding the text to the other blocks here now let's preview it Here I think the answer is too close to the arrow, 
so let's give it some margin let's go to the council block and give it some margin of 30 pixel so it has some distance from the right side then we can go to the question and then I also give it a pointer the cursor should change to a pointer So that's how it looks like. Thank you for watching.